Alright, welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Little Republic 2 The Sith Lords. Kinda slurred that, didn't I? That's okay. So, we finished Korriban last time. Let's see what interesting dialogue sequences we get this time. What the? Oh. Sorry. I had my headphones echoing. I was like, what the hell? No wonder the, there was an echo last time. Uh, Kelborn sent us a message. He got a message from Kavar. Yes, we will return to the Mandalorian camp now. Ooh, this is a big one. What's Kray up to? Huh. Is there? He can't see her. Must be hearing things. But for a moment. <laughs> Suspicious, I'd say. So before we go on to I think I just want to make sure I can't create anything new or interesting. It's very important that you have your companions equipment at maximum efficiency at this point in the game because yeah, I think we're good. Some big stuff's going to happen and I want everyone to be at their best. So, I leveled everyone off up Yes, I leveled up. I leveled up everyone off screen. And uh I want to make sure everybody said it. Hey, oh, I didn't level up Kraya. <laughs> All right, I couldn't cuz Kraya can't set foot on Korriban. Ding dong. All right, we all got what we need. I'm going to give him all the Jedi robes cuz the force bonuses and everything else is better off. We all look like Jedi now. Isn't it wonderful? Why do I still have a Taru switched on? I don't want a Taru. I'm gonna need Shen. But still. So. Return to Duxon. Now we leave Korriban for the last time. Eerie music, I'm sorry, it just is. Huh. Yeah, the thing with, um, Onderon, you do that first part and then you have to complete another planet. And then you come back and then you get the message. Kelborn to send you the message. If you chose to do Onderon last, you'll get the message as soon as you go back to the Evan Hawk. But I feel it's more appropriate to do it this way. We saved the best for last, after all. Oh, my character was kind of spazzing out there for a minute. It's alright, she's a powerful Jedi, she's entitled to spaz out if she so, if she so chooses. Oh wait, there's one last- sorry guys, I don't mean to delay the video anymore. Cause I want to get this- I meant- I should have done this off screen, but I didn't, so. I haven't upgraded my exile crystal in a while, so. Yeah, we can use speed for heaven for heaven's sake. Time efficiency. Yeah. Exile crystal. That crystal is bon Let me focus there. Now it is there something. No. Thank you, go away. My crystal is stronger, which means my lightsaber is stronger, which means I am stronger, which means our enemies are gonna die. A lot faster than they would normally. Upgrade item. Exile crystal. Light side bonus, critical bonus, stun bonus, blaster bolt, flush, and dexterity, strength, wisdom. Bada bing, bada boom, bada pow. That was really stupid, I apologize. Doesn't matter who we. You don't need to choose a party at this point. Everyone comes with you for this next meeting. Onderon and Duxon are only a short shutter ride apart. Yes, we know that because we've done it! This is my favorite part of the whole game, this next sequence. Well, two sequences, actually, because this next part is split into two parts, actually. Well, what I mean by... Oh, it'll become clear when I do it. You know. I'm sure most of you already know what I'm talking about, but still. Those of you who haven't played through this game. You're about to learn. Where's the guide? He's right here. This guy will take you back to the camp instantly. About 
time you showed up. Let's go. Follow me then. Brilliant. Oh, my cords are all tangled. There we go. I can't comment if there are tangled cords. I'll end up throttling myself, electrocuting myself, or doing something else to myself, which won't be pleasant. Regardless, it won't end well for me. And I don't like it when things don't end well for me. And I'm just talking incessantly to get through the loading screen. Here we go. Shh, listen up. Come on. Here we go. You received my message then. A man named Kavar wanted to get a hold of you urgently. He said that the Queen had arranged safe passage to Onderon for you. But I don't know how good their offer is anymore. They screwed us, didn't they? What did Kavar want? He wouldn't tell me anything. Just that he wanted to see you. He said it was urgent. But that doesn't matter now. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. I doubt that Queen Talia and her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible. And most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies. Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. Yes, we have. How... We picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. We only have our shuttle sensors, so we know nothing more than that. Those transmissions are the enemy. They are linked to the fate of Onderon. They must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. Okay, first of all, you shouldn't ha just have the sh shuttle sensors. Mandalore, stop spazzing out. I fixed the telemetry computer. But regardless, I have to lead the group heading to the Royal Palace. You... you are correct. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. This is why it really helps to have your companions as Jedi. A uh, disciple will lead it. I shall do my best. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Mira. Where's Mira? Hmm. Okay. And who else? Visus. Very well. Now are you certain of your choices? No. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. Yes, let's go. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. So now, a Jedi can learn up to seven of eleven forms. Yes, that is. Yeah, you learn different form. I, I probably explained this in an earlier video, but I'll do it now. Because we have a learning screen. You learn different forms depending upon your class, different combinations of them. Since we're a guardian and weapon master, we learn all the lightsaber forms. Well, there's eight lightsaber forms, actually. We only learned seven of them. And the other four are force forms. We already know one of them. And the other three you only get if you're a master, if you're a Jedi master and a Jedi consular. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So, lead on. So basically, we have no Mandalorian warrior supporting us. We have Zarga for a little bit, but that's about it. Everyone switch on speed. Bomas! Kill him! With fire! As you can see, we don't have nearly as much slaughter power as the Exile, but it's alright. We can still... It's just a couple of bonus, it's no big deal. 
Let's keep rolling on up. Oh, look, a minefield. Mira, you're up. Disable those mines. I hope she has the skill to disable them. Yes, she does. Brilliant. Also, Mira doesn't trip mine, so you could escort your whole party past them at this point if you wanted. Hold a moment. Past the mines. Oh dear. A type 2 perimeter motion relay. It's a little outdated, but it'll do the job. If anything moves within six meters of that, then they know they've got visitors. Someone skilled with a stealth field generator can get by it, but that's about it. But if they set off any of those mines, it'll still send the signal. So, you aren't completely ignorant in the ways of battle? Good. But all of you must pass through its perimeter, and undetected would be better. Uh... Yeah. Avoid the mines. Okay, I don't think Mira has any stealth skill, actually. Does she have stealth skill? I don't think she does. Wow, she has an incredible stealth skill! Mira, I apologize. This is also ideal because Mira does not trip any landmines, so I can just walk straight through it. Alright, and your stealth field generator. Do I have a stealth field generator? Hey, I got a stealth field generator. Go figure. Solo mode. I'll be back in a second. Creeping on up to the minefield. And disable the generator. Because Mira has amazing skills. And she doesn't trip mines, which is awesome. Actually, when she's the party leader, nobody in your party trips mines, which is really good. Disable it. Yes! The sensor is down! Disarm the mines. Why am I still in stealth mode? This, the sensor is deactivated. Lord. It's why you're creeping around. There's nothing to avoid. I'm disarming the mines because you get the experience for doing it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but... Yeah, this part... I usually actually take, uh... If, I'm, if I was a male Jedi, I usually have Handmaiden as the party leader. She's the companion you get instead of Disciple. Visus I always send, and I send Mira if I've got her at this point. If you haven't done Nar Shaddaa, then I take then I send Mandalore. I usually use Handmaiden, Beadur, and Mandalore, but... And... onward. Oh wait, Disciple's party leader. Huh. Probably should have had Mira as the party leader, but that it does it does honestly it doesn't matter who's the party leader. It really doesn't. Look some defense guns, let's kill him. And now avoid the main can encampment. Intruders kill them! Oh, how nice of them. Why do we both have purple lightsabers? I wasn't really thinking that through, was I? Kill the Sith soldiers, they're wimps. They don't know their ass from their elbow. Hey Mira, you maybe want to get over here and help us fight? You ever thought about doing that? I oh, know, crazy, isn't it? Oh, never mind, they've already taken care of it. There you go, Mira. Good lord. I have to babysit you the whole time? Probably. Now this next little tactic that we're going to use is called the Foothold Program. It's ingenious, because you can see, since you have companions, your attack power isn't as good as it normally would be. You've got all those droids and soldiers over there with defense guns, and then also up there you've got Dark Jedi, a whole array of defense guns, droids, and soldiers. Basically, it's a tough fight. So, slice the computer. We're going to do something called the Foothold Program, which basically... What it does is make all the machines attack all the organics. So basically, there's about to be a small war. Let us observe. Now all the organics are fighting all the droids. The organics usually win because, well, they got Dark Jedi up there. But they'll thin, they'll thin themselves out and they'll weaken each other while we loot the camp. It's fun to do, regardless. You could fight- Whoa, Mira is glitching out there. No, freaking open the container. Good lord. Again, Discharger. 
I think there's a Bomo over here, which we didn't kill earlier. And I'm gonna go back and loot, loot these guys real quick, see if they got anything good on them. They don't. Sniper shot. Ow. What is this? I forget. Turret, turret generator. Leave it alone. I want the turrets active because the organics up there on the hill are going to take out most of the turrets, but we'll still, um... I am listening. I still want the turrets fighting and weakening them the whole time. So, in the meantime, we're going to go over here. Attack! Attack these guys, actually. Stasis field! Disciple, you're actually doing something useful for a change. Why did you do power attack? Oh, because I ordered you. You did power attack because I ordered you to do power attack. Oh, good lord, I have solo mode active. You can see, why, why isn't nobody else helping me? Good lord. Hey, you guys, you want to get over here? You too, honestly. Good lord. What, what forms have we got? Ah, Shicho will be good for us for now. We're going to use Makashi here in a minute, but... Because there are some lightsaber duels ahead, but... I'm going to keep Mira on the guns for now, because... Well, she's going to need it. Let's get up there and do some good stuff. Oh, wait, remains. Sweet. Okay, now let's get up there and do some good stuff. See, look, they're still fighting up here. Roar lagging. Ooh, Sith Lord. Ooh, a Sith Apprentice. Die. He falls. Another Dark Jedi Apprentice. Hey, some Sith Commandos. And we get a level. Alrighty. Well, the droids were actually winning the fight? How the hell did that happen? The droids never win the fight. Whoa, Mira! How the hell did that- Oh, she doesn't have her lightsaber, she can't deflect blaster fire. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh, good lord. Alright, we're gonna need some crowd control. Heavens, I completely forgot. Oh, I should've- I should've given her the deflection power. Well, oh, you can use revitalize, so it's all good. Okay, Mira. Get back up. For the love of God, switch to your lightsaber. And heal. Whoa. Heavens, you guys are getting slaughtered. What are you doing? Hey, you got destroyed droid, don't you? Use it! Here's a crazy idea. Use the powers I gave you. Sheesh! Alright. Yeah, Revitalize is really useful in this mission. That's why Visus and Disciple both have it, so... And I swear Disciple runs slower than the others. And there's some real... That's not what I wanted to do, but oh well. There's some really nice loot you can get in the Sith camp. Sometimes you get garbage, but... Search it. There you go. See a computer spike. Not really worth it there. Anything I missed on the up on the up ramp? Nope. The droids actually took out most of the organics, which is unusual. Usually the droids get slaughtered and the organics take all the glory, but not today. The turrets won. Well, I suppose it kinda goes both ways. Now I don't know if the Sith I think that there's two Sith Lords beyond this door. I think. Oh no, this is a soldier and his lieutenant. Okay. Take these guys out, no problem. The next door has a sit has two sit doors behind it. This next fight can be a little tough, but shouldn't be too nasty. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Everyone is gonna use Makashi. 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 Mira, you are going to use your lightsaber because you're gonna need it. Two Sith Lords. Hey, look, that one's yawning. That's funny. He's like, uh, hey, look, Jedi, we should probably.